What's up, K Squad? I really miss y'all, man. Today's Motivational Monday, so I'm back. Let's be gonna hold y'all. I've been struggling with the Fridays, but that's because once Friday get here, I've been working so hard all week that it's like crazy. I'm on a run and I'm trying to do things for me. Don't worry, I got y'all this Friday. If I don't record anything, I am gonna go live. So today I'm feeling like, um, you know what I'm saying? Earth, wind, and fire, babe. I just want to come on here and talk about being thankful. Most of us come together with our family and friends or with our immediate family or some of us spend it alone by ourselves and that's okay too. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm thankful personally for you guys. I'm thankful for um, my son. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my girl. I'm just thank you, thankful for her family. I'm thankful for um, the universe in, in itself. I think that it's a blessing to be alive and you just got to be grateful. You got to be thankful and you got to know that every day is a new day and every, and every day is a new start to a new beginning. I'm also thankful for just having life itself. And I think that we forget that breath and life is not promised. And I think that we take for granted that tomorrow is not always gonna be for everybody. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of people who don't wake up the next day. And I think that that's why we should live every day like it's our last. So whatever you're doing today, if you holding off on something because you fearful of it, just do it and get it done because you just never know if you run out of time when it comes to you guys starting businesses and wanting to start businesses go ahead and get it done that's the best thing you could ever do for yourself when it comes to you guys wanting to um quit that job or start that new job or take that new promotion go ahead and do so you got to stop living in fear because honestly guys fear is not going to get you nowhere but stuck and stagnant and you don't want to be that you want to be you want to have upward mobility. So because I'm thankful for you guys, I'm going to uh, send positive energy away. I'm also going to send upward, mo upward mobility away. I um, speak that into your life for 2021, the remainder of it, and the whole 2022 and moving forward. I think that this year was a struggle for probably everybody. And I know that we uh, struggled so much this year that next year we deserve for it to be ours. 2022 is going to be a great year. We're going to end off 2021 with a bang. Um, we got to make changes for 2021. What's the changes that you're going to make in your life for 2021? And what are you going to do different this year? How are you going to be productive next year? How, how are you not going to go into next year and the end of next year saying the same things that you said last year or around this time this year? You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's my little spill for today. It's nothing, nothing really uh, crazy. Uh, you, 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 let me know what y'all think in the comments below about the, the spirit of giving. When it comes to holidays, guys, I don't really like uh, go all into like the whole historical aspect of why we celebrate the holiday. When it comes to history, for me in particular, I think that there's a lot of omissions and I feel like it's hard to draw a conclusion when you have so much information left out. So I just don't go into politics. I don't go into history. I don't go into none of that. I don't delve deep down inside of none of that because I just rather... Um, know that i know what's the truth professor Mons told me a long time ago like there's a book called uh oh man what's the name of this book it was such a good book and basically the book talked about all of the things that is omitted from history i gotta look it up and i'll let y'all know but anyways i just had a geek moment and i think that um that book taught me a lot about reality and uh beliefs and, and stuff like that and so anyways um long story short i like to celebrate with the positive mindset and i like to celebrate with positivity when it comes to um a lot of things even when it comes to like holidays like um you know halloween and holidays like christmas and holidays like you know a lot of people can put a, a negative a negative uh a negative connotation to it but i try not to think of those things in a negative light and try and think of it with the tradition that I've been raised with and it was just happiness and I think that on a positive note I am thankful um that I'm able to feast with my family on this holiday that we do celebrate and furthermore I'm just thankful for holidays I think what would the world be without holidays when the months of like October November December start to fall around I get so excited because it's just holiday 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 season back to back and honestly what would we be without holidays as a part of the culture? And when you think about culture, values, and beliefs is a part of who we are and um, as people. And I think that the celebrations and the festives around it 
create who we are and create the the fun and the love and, and things like that and, and the ways that people come together our customs and stuff like that the ways that we share that uniformed um you know uniformity and i think it's dope so with that said i am a person who celebrates holidays i think it's a blessing and i think that it's just cool so long story short i hope you enjoyed this video i'm driving right now but i still wanted to get this video out you got to be flexible um so I, that's what i'm doing uh, I, don't, I hope i didn't dry your ears out talking so much but i did want to come up here for motivational monday and just give thanks and tell you guys how much i appreciate you and tell you to remember your family friends relatives associates next door neighbor your community and thankful and whoever you else you're thankful for and just let them know that you're thankful and you appreciate them because if you didn't do any day of the year any other day of the year now is the time guys i love y'all hope y'all enjoyed this video like always give this video a thumbs up like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that your girl is on her journey to 4k guys if you would like to purchase a t-shirt i have a t-shirt um called unapologetically me i already explained the meaning behind a t-shirt in previous videos but if you're new to this channel unapologetically me just came from the thought of me and my son being unapologetically us when people judged us for me bringing him into the world as a masculine presenting women um and i think that the way that anybody can relate to being unapologetically them is that if you live your everyday life being you not caring about people judgment not caring about what people are going to think of who you are as a person then you are unapologetically you and that's all that means it's just you know it, it's a huge meaning for such a small word on a little small shirt and i think that everybody can relate so if you can relate and you want to purchase i do have those shirts for purchase all you have to do is let me know in the comments below and um the site is not up right now because it's under construction but you can let me know in the comments below and i'll get your information and get that shipped out to you um i love y'all peace oh the insemination tracker is still up and it's still on Amazon, guys. If y'all do know anybody that's trying to currently get pregnant, it does not only have to be an LGBTQ couple, heterosexuals who's trying to get pregnant too, have to follow an insemination process if they want to be as successful. I know a lot of heterosexual couples who tried to get pregnant, but and they thought just because it's a man and a woman, like, oh, I'm gonna just go have sex. He's just gonna um, uh, another man. I'm I'm gonna get pregnant, and it's just like, nah, it wasn't that easy. So now we got a plan because it's not happening. I keep taking pregnancy tests, and it's not happening. So for those of you who know people who are currently in the season of wanting to build and expand their families it can be anybody from any walk of life i do have the insemination tracker slash journal slash planner available um the planner is so cool it has a space in there for you to leave notes for your child it has a space in there for you to leave notes for yourself take pictures leave memories memoirs it has a bunch of things and it's one little insemination tracker and it also has a um, organized space for you to track your ovulation so guys if you have anybody that you know that want to expand their family let them know about the insemination tracker i love y'all oh you're cracking down say i too, I too? <laughs> good job yeah yeah that's good <laughs> Okay, one minute. Mm -hmm. Take a little down. You wanna lay down for that, okay? Yeah, big boy. No, his stomach is okay. His stomach is okay? All right. Yeah, no lymph. He's good. Okay. okay. Guys, I just wanted to get an update on Cairo. And I know you guys sent well wishes, so we just want to say thank you for all of your well wishes. He's doing much better guys he's up he's active he's dancing so honestly i know a lot of you guys were worried just as much as i was so i just wanted to give you an update and let you guys know that he's doing fine he went to his doctor's appointment and now he's sitting here dancing this is the superstar man he really loves and enjoy entertaining people so he's back to himself and i'm so thankful for you all yeah really helped me get through that moment with cairo and i just want to say again thank you for me and cairo and I hope y'all enjoyed this video, guys. Like always, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. And most of all, guys, happy holidays. Have a good holiday and stay safe.